Hi everyone, it's Shotzi for the Rough Cuts on Sunday. I am outside right now because I'm really behind on a project, so please forgive the wind. And unlike Rob in England, it's pretty warm out here. It's about 75, but there's a good wind so it doesn't feel so bad. Anyway, today I'm going to be working on... Not working on, I'm going to be talking about... A documentary that I saw at the Awesome Film Festival, of course, everything I've been talking about lately has been at the AFF, and this is a documentary called Rainbow's Ends, and it's it was really, really sweet. I really enjoyed this a lot. It was done by Eric Huber and Andy Cope, who were students, rather, they graduated from Stephen F. Austin University, which is in Nacogdoches, Texas. and. Prior to watching this documentary, it never really occurred to me that people outside of Texas aren't familiar with Nacogdoches. Because if you've lived in Texas for a while or grew up here, then you know of Nacogdoches, whether or not you've been there. Um, the Marx Brothers, if you're fans of the Marx Brothers, that's where they decided to do comedy instead of sing. So that's one of their little claims to fame. And I guess their biggest claim to fame came in February of 2003 when the Columbia Space Shuttle disaster occurred and the dip fell on Ochis mostly. And that brings us to this documentary. It opens with a band, and they are called um, Cosmic Willy and the Cosmic Debris. No, Country Willy and the Cosmic Debris. And which um, consists of Willie Edwards and Eric Huber, who did the film. And later on, um, I think it's Ryan Jones. Maybe Eric Jones. Eric Jones. Eric Jones. Is that right? No, it might be Ryan Jones. I'll, do, I'll, I'll put it up here. Anyway, what happened was when the debris fell, a lot of people started collecting the debris. And so they made a drum set out of the debris from the Columbia Space Shuttle, which is highly illegal. I wouldn't recommend it if a shuttle ever explodes over your house. But they, you know, had this sound. They're really excited about it. And they want to record with other artists. Most people turn them down if they even sent her a play at all. However, one man who did agree to record with them was the legendary Stardust Cowboy. Ironically enough, legendary Stardust Cowboy is the only musician who was banned from being played in outer space. NASA banned him because they just said it was torture. It's, it's too horrible for anyone to have to endure legendary cowboy legendary stardust cowboy and incidentally it's also how david bowie came up with the stardust and ziggy stardust there is a little interview in this film from like some old film footage of david bowie when he's talking about that story but they want to go to san jose in order to record with legendary stardust cowboy and so they just gather all these people and they go on their journey. They get a very broken down school bus. And so they find um, their singer, Mr. Jones. And then they also start collecting these other people, such as Peter Casino, who is a character in and of himself. He was valedictorian of his high school, but he was mentally stuck in the 70s. He dressed 70s has this weird way of speaking, and he, he's kind of adorable in his own very, very strange way, but he's one of the people that they collected for this trip. There is also Brian, the Birdman Birdwell, who did cockfighting, and he wanted to get his roosters in the movies, so that was his reason for going out to California. And then on the way, they picked up Audrey Dean. And any of you who have lived in East Texas or even like Houston, like towards Central Texas, if you never came across Audrey Dean, you probably didn't get out often enough as you should. 
because I mean, he was everywhere, always hitchhiking. Most likely you saw him on the side of the road wearing like some sort of sparkly sequin top and hat and like little tiny short shorts with a baton. But he's in this as well. He's trying to get out to LA to the gay, bisexual, lesbian center in order to learn how to, you know, set up an effective web page. I hear talking. Anyway, so this is just their journey. It took over three weeks, and when they came back, you know, Eric had all this film footage, and he was just like, you know, I've got 110 hours here, I don't know what to do with it there's nothing here. And so then he just kind of mowed over it for a while and then he shelved it. And then after like the stock market, you know, and the economy just sort of went south, he got back on it and he was happy that he did because what he had was really, really golden. And, you know, his mindset has changed, his maturity had, you know, had changed. And what he came up with is just this remarkable documentary. It's really, really special. Very bittersweet. But I highly recommend this. And it just, it shows how if you set your mind to something, you can really accomplish a lot, even if it seems insignificant at the time. Now, currently, they are looking for a distributor for this. And they need funding because they have a lot of copyrighted footage in it. You know, like, David Bowie interview, although David Bowie would really care so much about that, considering, you know, how he is with musicians who use his music and remix it. But I don't think he owns the rights to that interview anyway. But they have a lot of other footage that's okay for, you know, film festivals, but not for wide release. So if you can, definitely check out their film, check out their trailer and their website. Also, Country Willie still performs in Austin. So go check them out. If you see this playing anywhere at a festival near you or possibly like an art house near you, definitely go watch it. It's really enjoyable. And like I said before, next week is But Numathon, so my review will be later in the day. It'll be afternoon, since the festival ends at noon. So, until then, I will see you all. If you're wondering what I'm doing here, I'm making a chenille pillow. So it looks like this. Very, very shaggy, using a slicker brush. So that's why I'm doing like this strokey motion. But, I will see you all next week. Until then, have fun, and be well. Bye-bye.